Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. ESL Pro League Day 5 just concluded, so buckle up and let's get straight to the games. Saw versus Eternal Fire. With elimination on the line to Malta, you'd think Zomteros and crew would handle business, right? Wrong. Aerodos and Story closed the story on EF as both of them had a 169, nice, and 135 rating respectfully. In fact, everyone on Saw had a 114 or higher rating as they won 13-8 on Vertigo and 13-3 on Nuke. EF, meanwhile, had made to lead the team with a 0.91 rating, which means they're out of the tournament, joining the likes of Sharks and Imperial. Sorry guys. Tyloo versus M80. Tyloo dominated game one, 13 to seven on Inferno, staving off elimination. Unfortunately, that's where the good news stops because M80 were tired of getting their teeth kicked in. So they pummeled Tyloo 13 to three on Ancient and 13 to one on Overpass. No, really, this is a real stat line. M80 won 26 of the last 30 rounds. Mount Swisher and Slacks all having a 130 plus rating helps with beating the daylights out of Tyloo as they're knocked out of the tournament in arguably the most brutal way possible. Sorry guys, that's how it goes. Falcons versus G2. I swear if G2 blows it. 16 to 13 Falcons on Vertigo. You lost over the... Forget it. Forget it. G2. Forget it. Pack it up. Pack it up. G2's done. G2's done. Nope, they're done. They're, they're done. They're done. Wait, you won 13 to three on Anubis? You won on Nuke 13 to five? Where the hell has this been, G2? You won in Steve Roth Little Nation. I'm still ticked off at you. Which G2 are you? Honor Garbage or the number five team in the world? I'm not convinced on anything anymore. Though that 133 and 129 rating from Nico and Montesi do look pretty good. Hmm. And the final elimination game of the day, Virtus versus Fnatic. Let's start the match with overtime in Vertigo. What? Not. Crimson crew were close to the comeback, but they just couldn't pull it off as Virtus won 16 to 14. And from there, the bad news hit as Fnatic lost 13 to 6 at Anubis to be eliminated from ESL Pro League. I mean, when Flit's going off with a 141 and James got a 133 rating to match, it's kind of hard to lose these games. Just one question. Electronic? I know we're going to be patient with the move, but can you not have a 0.99 rating on an elimination match next time? Just saying. So, with those being the elimination games, let's move on to the good news. Astralis versus 3D Max. Relax guys, no one's going home. This is just for playoff seat and the game's over. Okay, Astralis handily took care of business. 13 to seven on Inferno and 13 to three on Ancient as yet again, this roster has a team rating of a 1.09 or better. Heck, Yabi and Device had a 178 and a 171 rating? What the actual, okay then. Maybe Astralis is finally hitting its stride. And what a time to do some. Man, congrats on the playoff spot. There's nothing more I can say. Congrats. And those were the games. Which shocked you the most? Comment down below. Do you think G2 can still make the playoffs? Can Electronic and VP make their strides to make it to the playoffs? Is Astralis back? Comment down below. And if you enjoyed, like, subscribe as it helps out the channel an absolute ton. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.